San Diego over the weekend, stayed in uh, an Airbnb. First time I've ever done that, stayed in this guy's sh shitty apartment slash condo. It was right in the heart of the gas lamp district. And if you've never been to San Diego, gas lamp district. They all say it like that. Just kidding. And uh, that place is really just bars and restaurants. It's kind of quiet in the daytime. Uh, but in the evenings, and I was only there on the weekends, so I can't say what a weeknight is like. It gets crazy, you know. Like college kids everywhere. All the girls showing their sweet little bodies all the dudes just have loud exhausts on their cars drive way too fast down tiny streets but you know it's it's definitely if you're looking to drink listen to music because there's lots of live music everywhere and uh and try and hook up with the women that's that's what it's about <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm a little old for that I just drink, that's it. But uh, yeah, this little Airbnb was right in the center of that. And so that partying is kind of loud. I slip with earplugs. But the only reason, really the main reason we were down to San Diego was to see motherfucking Dave Matthews, who I, my girlfriend loves. I, I I'm not into them at all. They are very talented, very talented. So we got, there was a, some bus idiot crashed right next to the venue, took out a power line. The whole, the whole pole came down with power lines and all on the street, like two hours before the show. And there are only two ways in, and that's one of them. So we said, fuck it. We got there like three hours early and we, uh, basically tailgated. We destroyed, two of us destroyed a bottle of moonshine. And uh, so yeah, I watched this show. I'm not into Dave Matthews. I love the show. I figured out the meaning of life while I was watching it. I was like, I understand everything now. It's perfectly clear. And uh, sobered up, drove back to our condo apartment, Airbnb place. That was that true story, bro. The only thing we really did, other than eat and drink, is uh, we checked out the USS Midway. It's a big uh, aircraft carrier that's uh, now a museum down there. Pretty neat. Just a big hunk of floating metal, which always blows my mind. Damn, little tight, little tight. And it got some sex. Can't beat that. I think I've been drunk seven days in a row. This is, I've never had so much to drink. Uh, so much that it's just, I can't drink for a while. It's out of control. Stay there guys, don't fuck me. In two weeks I leave for Morocco that's a trip that makes me nervous it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be mind expanding but it's gonna be uncomfortable for a little bit because the people in the markets are really aggressive and I'm not and I don't know how to deal with those kind of people uh, I'm probably gonna get sick off the food so that's gonna be fun But it's guided, so my full two weeks there actually are not going to be that nerve-wracking because someone else will basically have our days planned. I think our food is not planned, but we'll be with a group, so we'll all go together, we'll sort this out, and it'll be great. And then after that, I go on up to uh, Portugal. Uh, we're gonna start in Porto and then stay there a few days and then we're gonna take the train down to uh, Lisbon spend a few days there fly back to Los Angeles where it's gonna be really weird I've never been I've never been gone for such a long period of time It'll be 
three weeks. Man. I'm stocked up on memory cards. I bought a second camera because I am really tired of switching lenses. God damn it, I hate switching lenses. And I have a feeling I'm going to be in a place where I'm basically going to live on my wide angle because these little Medinas and stay there big guy these tiny alleyways and the maze and Marrakesh it's just going to be all wide angle 